electric locomotives in America. Something rather uncommon to the normal rail fare, seeing as our continent didn't invest in widespread electrification compared to other countries. While we affiliate electrics with passenger services, electric freight railroads were only limited to select areas, with their only purpose being used to haul minerals. While we know of some popular examples, like the Black Mesa and Lake Powell, or the Deseret Power Railway, we're returning once again to the industrial side of Texas, where a few hidden railway lines were once home to a series of electric locomotives that were... rarely spotted, so to speak. I guess this is the video covering these electric locomotives, otherwise known as the E25B. Our company of note is Texas Utilities. Otherwise known as Energy Futures Holding Corporation, this is an electric utility company within the state of, well, Texas. They rostered two railroad lines that would bring lignite coal from nearby mines to the Marin Lake and Monticello Steam Electric Station, respectively. In 1976, the company would place an order to General Electric for seven new electric locomotives to haul coal from these mines to designate power plants. And given that GE already had experience with the E60, a smaller version was made to suit the company's needs, in the form of the E25B. These were four axle electric locomotives weighing in at 280,000 pounds, were 64 feet long, powered off a 25 kilovolt AC traction, a horsepower output of 4,000 horsepower, and a top speed of 70 miles per hour. Although, I doubt they'd went that fast in service. While they sported a similar cab to the E60, they lacked the full cowl car body, sporting a conventional long hood instead. And compared to the E60, they weighed and produced less horsepower unlike their six axle counterparts, which had 6,000 horsepower and weighed more than the E25B. And if you want to compare them to their diesel equivalent, the electrics had twice the horsepower. Although, given that the numbers in a locomotive model classify the horsepower range, and the U25Bs had 2,500 horsepower and the E60s had 6,000 horsepower, while the U25Bs had 4,000 horsepower, and the name is E25B, wouldn't these be classified as U40Bs? Sounds like false advertising to me. The seven locomotives were delivered in 1976, with one additional unit being added in 1977. And by October 8, 1976, service began on the Monticello line, with the Marne Lake line following the next year. But what about their operations? Well, we have a rough outline as to how it went. So, these locomotives would run in shuttle service between the mines and power plants, with the Monticello service bringing trains to the mine at Winfield, interchanging with mainline trains at Leesburg, and bringing it up to the Monticello power plant. These mine trains were made up of a solo locomotive, 20 hopper cars, give or take, and a small caboose cap mounted on a flat car. Which was kind of like a makeshift cap car, I guess, but either way, it was to house additional crew members. Let's fast forward to 1999. A handful of E60C-2s from the NDM's cancel electrification project were brought over to displace E25Bs from service. Given that they were more powerful, and my guess is that Texas Utilities want to utilize more powerful locomotives for these types of jobs. Not to mention, the E25Bs were already 23 years into their service lives, and given that parts were hard to come by, replacements were in due time. And so, the four axle GEs were starting to be phased out from revenue service. Although, a couple of images from 2001 showcase a few of them still in operational condition. But by 2006, the only electrics operating were the very few left on the Martin Lake line, as Texas Utilities had slowly but surely been utilizing diesel power for their operations, which saw some hand-me-down C3-7s and SC50s operating on the line, and later two SC70As. As for the E60s, the Martin Lake line would finally be de-electrified by 2011, and most of the operations would cease by 2016 following the mine closures that happened around that time. Today, operations of the line have ceased following the Monticello plant being demolished in 2021, but some sections of the lines are apparently still owned by the Blacklands Railroad, while the Marin Lake line still sees some occasional coal trains from BNSF. As for the E25Bs, 
Given that there's no information regarding their whereabouts, we could speculate that they were scrapped between 2003 to 2006, and none survived into preservation. So, while these locomotives and the Texas Utilities operations weren't as documented like many industrial railroads, they were quite the rare novelty for rail fans that encountered them over the decades, as this type of motive power was pretty rare and exclusive in these certain parts of America, with some other exceptions being sporadic across the continent. So, regardless if they were just a minor footnote in G's history, or hardly remembered, or photographed, you can't deny that they certainly were a hidden gem in none other than the Lone Star State. I don't know how to end this show just- <laughs>